The library has always been that um, steadfast community gathering place. Um, it's always there. Uh, it's been there for generations. Families, parents bring their kids and then uh, their kids bring their kids. What do you think of when you think of community? For some, the library is synonymous with community. The library benefits community by opening its doors to everybody. The library system is a people's university and um, it crosses all age barriers, financial barriers, and provides a place for families and individuals to come get an education for free. We offer so many wonderful programs. We offer amazing opportunities for continuing education. Um, we offer a place for people to come together and share life enriching opportunities and ideas. It allows people of all different types of backgrounds and different ages and different interests to come to a common place that has resources for all of them. There are not a lot of places in society these days that are tailored for, for everybody. The 21st Century Library will allow PPLD to bring even more essential services and programs into our community. The core philosophy and goal of our 21st Century Library is to provide exactly what you need in the format you desire at the very moment when it will benefit you the most. I don't think that there are a lot of library districts right now that have the opportunity to do something like that. It's going to have the makerspace, which I think is the um, really exciting part. It's new technology, it's new for library systems to even have that in the library, and that puts us at the cutting edge of libraries. Um, that's probably what I'm most excited about in the recording studio. I'm looking forward to that, so I can be the next American Idol. <laughs> I'm hoping some of the recording stuff is going to be really great for the patrons. I know people are interested in it. I hear those questions all the time. Um, so recording, um, also the publishing capacities. I do a lot with writing groups, so I constantly hear more about, about let's, let's find ways to get this out to the community. Will I be able to scan my large format negatives? Uh, will I be able to make a book? Uh, and so that's what interests me, but I think there's something for everybody in the new library. Well, I'm a gadget person, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the, like the 3D printer and the business center. We are going to get to focus on um, more improvements for software, more um, ideas for classes, and kind of, a, with any luck, more opportunities for the community to share what they make with the rest of the community. It's something that's going to live on for a long time because not, not necessarily the particular technologies we're putting in there right now, but the spirit of embracing technology in that way. There are a lot of people who don't necessarily associate libraries with the future and technology. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised to see what we're, what we're doing here and what we're going to enable people to do and, and give them access to. But we need your help. Did you know that 14% of staff members currently donate to the library? They don't look at it as giving to their place of work, but rather donating to a community organization they believe in. I uh, myself chose to give to the library, and I chose to do that because uh, I value the library, and giving to the library is a, a way to show that. I know that most of us don't make a lot of money, and uh, so our donations are, are small, but it's that small daily sort of action that really contributes to a larger whole. Going back to my earliest memories, the library has been an integral part of who I am. Um, it's always been something that's added to my life, and to me it's worthwhile to give back um, to something that important. It's more than a charitable donation. It's really support of one of the last great institutions in the world. Even before I worked at the library, I think if somebody had come to me and said, hey, would you donate a few dollars to the library to help uh, you know, fund what the library is doing, even before all these new initiatives, uh, you know, we would have done that. I've been giving since the housing market crashed. And, um, the library did such a good job of not cutting back on services, not cutting back on staff, that I thought, you know, it's something I could do to help out. So I started donating through my paycheck. In some ways, it's among the last of uh, democratic institutions, really, where everyone is welcome. 
You too can help by donating time or money to the 21st Century Library Capital Campaign. Volunteer hours are just as important as monetary donations and we invite you to help make a difference. You know, if you work at the library, it might seem silly to donate to the library, but I think that the people who work for the library should know more than anyone the amount of work that it takes and the pressures that we're under to deliver that sort of experience to patrons with limited resources. There are a lot of people who work for the district. It takes a lot of people to make it happen. And if everybody were to give a small amount, you know, that adds up to real money. And there are certain things that we just can't do unless we get a little bit extra money, and this is one way to do it. I just want to encourage um, all staff members to just donate even a little bit. Um, even if it's just five dollars or you know as much as as much as you feel that your family has benefited from it or you as an individual give back accordingly